10 things you need to know before the opening bell. Here is what you need to know. The Saudi Aramco IPO may not happen. Saudi Finance Minister Mohammed Al Jadan told the Financial Times that an international listing was just one option and that the state oil giant can look for private investment overseas. Japan's inflation remains weak. Consumer prices rose zero. Seven year over year in September, unchanged from August, according to data released Friday by Japan Statistics Bureau. CVS is reportedly interested in buying Aetna for $66 billion. The deal would value Aetna at about $200 a share, a 25 premium to Thursday's price, the Wall Street Journal's Dana Adioli reports. Amazon sees strong growth in its cloud business. The e-commerce behemoth reported that revenue at its all-important cloud computing unit totaled $4. 6 billion, up 34 year over year. Alphabet's revenue soars. Google's parent company raked in $27.77 billion in the third quarter, up 24 versus a year ago, amid strong performance from its mobile search advertising business and YouTube video site. Microsoft beats on the top and bottom lines. The company earned an adjusted $0. 84 a share on revenue of $24.5 billion, outpacing the $0.72 and $23.56 billion that Wall Street was anticipating. First day iPhone X pre-orders are sold out. Only those who ordered the iPhone X within the opening minutes it was available at Apple. Can will receive their phones the first day it's available. Stock markets around the world are higher. Japan's Nikkei, plus 1.24, hit a 21-year high, and France's CAC, plus 105, leads in Europe. The S&P 500 is on track to open up 0.39 near 2,570. Earnings reports keep coming. Chevron, ExxonMobil and Merck are among the names reporting ahead of the opening bell. U.S. economic data heats up. Gross domestic product will be released at 8.30 a.m. ET, and University of Michigan consumer confidence will cross the wires at 10 a.m. The U.S. 10-year yield is down one basis point at 2.45.